In a country where healthcare is universal, a 2014 study found that 56% of Canadians felt that the flu shot was unnecessary. This stat may surprise you, as the World Health Organization recognizes that the flu shot is the most effective way of preventing the flu. Although most people recover within seven to ten days, some may go on to develop serious, life-threatening complications such as pneumonia. In this episode of Health Animated, we'll talk about how the flu is spread and why you should consider getting the flu shot. The flu virus can be spread person to person or by touching contaminated surfaces. Did you know that if somebody has the flu, it can be spread to another person that is six feet away? It's spread by droplets that are produced when somebody with the flu sneezes, coughs, or even talks. If these droplets land on the mouth or nose of nearby people, they can also become infected. The scary thing is, people can start spreading these droplets one day before they even begin to show symptoms. Just when you thought you'd avoid all human interaction, we're here to tell you that these pesky droplets can survive for up to 24 hours on hard surfaces. So, how can you prevent getting the flu besides living in a bubble this flu season? Hand washing is a great start, but as we mentioned earlier, getting the flu shot is the most effective way to protect yourself. Well, how effective is effective? Depending on the match between strains in the flu shot and the circulating strains during flu season, it ranges from 52 to 82 percent. Having said that, even for flu seasons with a poor match, the flu shot will protect you against related viruses, making the illness milder. The flu shot is especially important for individuals at high risk for serious complications. These individuals include pregnant women, seniors, infants, young children, and people with chronic conditions such as asthma or diabetes. It might not be obvious why vaccination in pregnancy is important. Believe it or not, it's been shown that unvaccinated pregnant women are more likely to develop serious illness, and lower birth weights have been observed in their newborns. Over the years, certain ingredients in the flu shot have been a source of controversy. Thimerosal is one of them. Thimerosal may be used as a preservative to reduce bacterial and fungal growth, but because it contains a mercury atom, there have been false suggestions of thimerosal causing autism. This has been refuted by many studies over and over again, including a Danish study on half a million children. The bottom line is there is no connection between thimerosal used in vaccines and autism. Like most vaccines, mild reactions such as pain, redness, or swelling around the injection site can be expected. Other reactions may include headache, fatigue, and muscle ache. But these mild reactions will resolve on their own after a few days because the flu shot contains either components of the virus or an inactivated version of the virus. This means that the flu shot cannot and will not give you the flu. Protection is not only for you, but for those around you who may be at an increased risk for complications from the flu. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist to see if the flu shot is right for you. We hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Check out Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for regular updates. And remember, talk to your pharmacist, your medication expert.